I think my role uh, here today is to try to outline what is going to be a success for Cleveland around the casino. What do we mean by success? What is it that is going to cause us collectively to feel good about the project? And I would like to suggest that uh, there is one very important theme that crosses through the criteria that I'm going to outline. And the theme has been stated by each of the previous speakers, and it's around the, the term integration. And I'd like to come back to that. But I think there are three things that basically will define success for uh, gaming and specifically the casino in Cleveland. One is uh, the casino itself has to be economically successful for its owners and developers. Sometimes we forget about that when we think about these large uh, projects. When we were doing the Gateway Project and we had a ballot issue, which today one would be hard-pressed to find anyone who voted against it, we only won by two-tenths of a percentage point in that election. And it was in large part because so many people in the public didn't want the tenants, the Indians and the calves, to be successful. Uh, stupid. <laughs> they have to be successful or the project would not be successful. It is great that Dick Jacobs and his successors make some money. It is terrific that Gordon Gunn and Dan Gilbert uh, su succeeded him, make money. Otherwise, the projects themselves are not going to be a success. So a key feature here is to make sure that this casino is one that is in fact successful. What we don't want is a white elephant sitting wherever it is designed and not fulfilling the role that it is supposed to do both for the individual owner and for the uh, taxes and other benefits that are supposed to spin from it. I think the second piece of success for us has to be what many of you in the audience uh, are very interested in. There are an awful lot of architects in this room. And frankly, part of the success has to be architectural. This building or buildings or however it evolves really is uh, all about the as-built environment that we have and the integration of that as-built environment into the fabric of downtown Cleveland. And if the uh, design does not accomplish that uh, objective, uh, this building will not be a success in the large scheme of things for us in Cleveland because it will not attract uh, national and international attention. It will not be one of those things that is uh, when the blimp is over the queue for the uh, championship game later uh, in the decade and LeBron is still with us, uh, that they will focus on. Uh, and we want it to be that way. So the architecture of this, in my opinion, is very, very important. And the third factor that goes into success is what are the spinoffs? What are we going to get out of this casino other than uh, owners uh, being successful and gamblers uh, or gamers uh, having a good time uh, and having architecturally statements that we want to make? Uh, well, that I think is uh, in large part what many of us in the room and certainly uh, me personally feel very strongly about that this building needs to do spin-offs for us. It cannot just be about the first two things which are self-contained. And I'm so um, positively impressed by the kinds of things that Dan Gilbert says that he wants this project to do uh, that I think we should feel uh, very good about uh, him being the owner of this project in Cleveland because he talks about things like not putting hotels into the building. He talks about things like not surrounding the building with a sea of surface parking. He talks about integrating the building into the fabric of Cleveland. Now, earlier you saw some graphics that are going to uh, result in that being a very difficult task, I think. Uh, but 
to the extent that Mr. Gilbert is dedicated to doing those things and integrating the building into the fabric of Cleveland, uh, it will become successful with spinoffs. Uh, as David said, there are all kinds of um, buildings in urban areas that aren't urban buildings and have no spinoff uh, ramifications for us. And we see that ourselves. Uh, if you surround a ballpark by a sea of surface parking, you're going to get virtually no economic development spinoff. I suspect the same is true with casinos. In fact, in part, as David has said, that was the purpose. You want to keep people in the building spending all of their money uh, at the gaming tables. In our case, what we want to do is have people spend money in the casino, otherwise objective one isn't going to be accomplished. But we also want them to spend some money when they walk from their car to the casino in our restaurants, at our hotels, in our retail establishments. It's exactly the kind of spin that we got from the Gateway Project.